Hi everyone, we are live coming to you from Queensland, Australia, and it's raining here. And I know that some of you are probably from America and probably watching the Super Bowl right now, but guess what? So are we, and so is my husband, and his dad, he's over too. So they're watching the Super Bowl, but if you're like some people who might just be half watching the Super Bowl, stick your headphones in, scroll the phone up, and watch me live as we uh, do some stenciling this morning. Hi Judith, where are you from? Jump, if you're jumping on in, just let me know where you're tuning in from. I'm just going to shut our living room door where the guys are watching the Super Bowl here. And yeah, my husband's from America, his dad's from America, so they are going for Rams, you know, because apparently, I don't know a lot about Super Bowl, but apparently Patriots have had their fair share of Super Bowl time, so um, anyway, let's get into stenciling. So if you've just joined me, I'm Sharon from I Restore Stuff, and hopefully you can hear me. I've got a microphone on, and there's a little cable, so hopefully the cable doesn't get in the road. But I just thought it'd be better to be able to hear me more clearly um, with the microphone attached, because it's raining and it's echoing in my big workshop space here. So I'll just show you for a minute what I'm going to be stenciling on. Whoops, sorry there, I've got my phone camera going on. Um, if you've just joined, let me know where you're tuning in from. Say hello so I can see the comments. I can see a comment, so that's good. We're all working and let me know if there's any issues. But I'm just going to flip the camera around so you can see what we'll be working on today. And it's these stools. I don't know if you saw my post earlier, but I'll be working on these just plain black stools and now the top was black and I stripped that, we sanded that right back. Well I got my employee to do that, Eric, he did a great job of sanding those back to completely raw natural wood and so then we were left, so the top was black, we've sanded that back and I've left, this is the original paint job on here, uh, so you can see that there's a little bit of scuff mark, we have actually just sanded it a bit and uh, the other thing that was wrong is, was missing, was see these little wooden plugs here? There was some of those missing, so we got some of those, of uh, glued those in. So there was a couple of those missing, and now it's ready to paint. And I'm just going to paint those in Fusion's Coal Black to get the base of the stools ready. And now I'm ready to uh, stencil the tops. Now, to do that, you can see I've got the grain of the wood going this way on this stool, and the grain of the wood is going this way on this stool. Hey, from East Texas, Joe, are you watching the Super Bowl? Or are you kind of disinterested? Are you half watching it with your headphones in or, or what? Let me know. And who are you going for? Anyway, so I'm going to turn those around so that the grains of the wood are both going the same way so that our stencil's kind of going to look, um, you know, a bit more. Now, actually, it looks almost like that that stool seat isn't exactly on crooked, so OCD people out there are going to be really annoyed by that. So anyway, that's what I, the way I'm going to do it. And the stencil I'm going to be using today is this one from Funky Junk Stencils. It's one of my favorites because everybody over here loves coffee and uh, it's been really popular on some of my furniture pieces, so I'm still using it because people are still loving it. And so what I was trying to decide was, do I try and fit the whole word coffee across the stool like this? And you know, maybe leave off the top words because with stencils, you can tape off this top bit. And I can see that Seattle, Washington just fits in there. I'm being careful with your stencils because some of these little letters here, you can see that's just starting to peep up there. So we've just got to be careful with that bit. And so I could do that or, Hey Paula, my sister-in-law is watching. What are you doing watching when you should be watching the Super Bowl? Sister, who are you going for? <laughs> Anyone but the Patriots, I'm, I'm hearing via the grapevine. Joe's watching the commercials. <laughs> Why aren't you watching the Super Bowl? Well, it's on in the background. Oops, sorry, a bit this way. So Dad and Marty are sitting on the couch over here. Here's the game. So I guess I'll hear some really loud noises. <laughs> if anything exciting's happening, let me know. And um, okay, so this is my decision. I've decided not to do this because I don't want to just end that. Coffee word would end really super close, like so close to the edge. And I don't, really don't like the lettering 
finishing right. Hey, Paula. <laughs> she is watching the Super Bowl secretly, but right now she's watching me. Okay, and it would end right here. I don't like the words finishing right to the end. I really like that free space that you should have around some text. But, however, if I do it this way, I thought of this different way of doing this, is to actually cross the design over. Now that mess with, might mess with some people stylistically. I'm just gonna shift this packaging box from the background. Um, but I'm just gonna go with it and give it some kind of industrial type of look where I've got half of the stencil going on this and half of the stencil kind of coming out over this one so that when we, the stools are sitting together at a bench, it kind of looks a bit like, you know, you've got an old palette that's had some kind of branding on it and then half a branding on this side. So that's just a fun way we can make it look a bit more industrial farmhouse. And so I'll get started. I'll be flipping, trying to flip the camera around. Let me see. And I'll pop it down on the bench here and see if we can point it downwards to the stencil so that you can see. So you may not see much of my face, but that's totally okay. You want to see stenciling pro stenciling tips. Right, one of the tips is we can tape our stencil down just in a couple of places. I will mention too, so what I have got on the stool so far is some Fusions Tough Coat Sealer. And it's just um, added with a little bit of brown tint, chocolate. You can add some chocolate to that to give it an antiquing kind of look. So I've done one coat of that. I think when I do the stencil, which I'm going to do in coal black, after that, I may distress the stencil work a little bit and then add another Fusions Tough Coat with that antiquing look on top of that. So that will deepen that to an even darker wood tone. So when, I, when I'm getting the stencil on, I'm just gonna kind of stick it half on if you've missed that part already, just to give it a bit of an industrial old sign kind of look. And if you uh, follow Donna from Funky Junk Old Sign Stencils, she's the creator of this one and an, a lot of other great stencils. So I'm just using a Klingon round 14 brush at the moment. It's probably backwards to you, sorry about that. And what I can do is either tape the end with a little, because the bristles are fairly long, I like to have either hold my hands here and give it a good um, stencil like that because you, you don't want the tips to be too flexible. Let me just get a bit of newspaper here to show you. You don't want the tips to be too flexible like this. Uh, some people, there are two methods of stenciling, some people like to pounce like this and other people will prefer to do a swirling method. I have got some on my brush because I spilled a bit of paint over here when I was trying to open my brand new bottle. So depending on which method you like to use, the still, the still, the, still the idea is to have a little bit tighter bristles. So one way we can do that is by placing a rubber band around the end of your bristles just to hold them a bit tighter together. Just like that. Top tip right there. Tell me where you're joining in from, guys, if you're in America and watching the Super Bowl or kind of half watching it with um, your headphones on or you're just scrolling through and watching my live. Or if you're in Australia, I would love to hear from you. Is it raining in your neck of the woods? Up in Townsville, it's flooding really bad at the moment. So praying for those people up there. Homes are being affected and lost and people are being evacuated. It's quite devastating. So here in Queensland, I'm down in Brisbane area or Logan. So I've dipped a little bit. Hi Desiree, nice to see you. So I've dipped a little bit of the tips of my brush. See how I don't really have very much on the tips at all. I've also wiped it off on the edges to remove any excess. Put that aside and with a blank piece of newspaper. Hi Cynthia, you're from Nova Scotia. Oh my goodness, you're probably in the in the land of ice right now. Uh, how are you going with all the big cold factors over there right now? Hi Libby, great to see you on here. Thanks for joining me. So what I've done is just wiped off any excess. So this is kind of like dry brushing. You want hardly any paint on your actual bristles because the idea is not to get bleeding underneath your letters because it's very easy if you have too much paint on there, you're oozing it through underneath and it's not going to oh thank you joe need to stop talking about irrelevant stuff right if you don't want to listen you can scroll right on um, anyway so when you've got the bristles almost dry put it down onto your if you want to stipple you can go like this and pounce 
Or some, I'll just show you a close up here of that. Uh, where am I? I'm kind of, it's hard to see backwards on the, if you've ever done a live before, these are really nerve wracking. So thanks for your encouragement out there. I am going to swirl now. So let me just pop that down so you can see. I'll see if I can point it downwards a little bit more. And get that on there. So the reason I'm doing a live today is because I've given myself a challenge. Well, someone else challenged me on Instagram to do a live every day for a week on Facebook. So I'm plucking up the courage to do that because I've been chickening out of doing those lately for some odd reason. It's just hard because when you're live, you just can't go back. You can't, um, you know, go, oh, whoops, let's just do that again. Whereas Instagram stories, I'm loving those at the moment because if you mess up, you can just turn them off and start again. So there we have it. Let me just point you around in this way. Hang on a second. Okay, so I've stenciled here. You can see I can still see some wood grain in there. I think it is Libby, yes. Libby's just said, do you think that having the brush almost dry is the secret to prevent bleeding? Absolutely, and that's why I have an almost dry brush when I'm doing it. So you can see, I can still see some, you can probably get a bit more coverage than that if you go over it again for a second coat because it's better to do, <laughs> it's better to do um, two coats rather than have too much on your brush because you cannot take it off. It's kind of like a haircut. Once you take too much off, you can't stick it back on again. If you put too much paint on, you can't wipe off the excess or get it, stop it from bleeding under. Once it bleeds under, it really messes up your stencil. I'm just gonna peel this back to show you what I've got so far. And you can see that it really does stand out a lot. I can still see the wood grain and it really does give you a nice stenciled industrial sign kind of a look. Stick it back down to make sure your letters are all lined up. So just so you can see how it's going there. So I've almost got that dry still on my brush. I haven't even reloaded it. And I'm going to keep going with the coffee part. Yep, absolutely, less is better. So you can see I'm getting less on now. It's a little bit lighter than this up here. So I may just want to load up my brush again now. I'll show you how I do that. Again, dipping just the tips in, hardly anything on the brush. Then wiping off the excess. Oops, sorry. Trying to watch with my real eyes and through the camera at the same time. Okay. And then wiping as much off as you can. So it's almost dry. And then either pouncing or like I was doing before, swirling. Now the only way I can swirl and not get it all underneath is because I've got less on the brush. As Libby was saying, it's a real key and a real secret to getting good stencils done. So if there's any questions, please go ahead and ask. So I'm just swirling away. As you can see, I don't wash my stencils after I've done them. I do the first few times, but once this paint sort of dries on there, it's really hard to get it off without this kind of thing happening and little pieces starting to get wrecked. So actually the paint sort of makes it stronger in some cases. So um, I'm gonna dip my brush again. Wiping it off on the paper, off the excess. Less is best, absolutely. All right. How's the Super Bowl going, sister? Let me know, Paula, who's winning? Has anyone scored yet for those watching? Just trying to make the conversation interesting, just so you know. All right. Now I'm gonna peel it off here. I'm actually gonna take the tape off stick it over on this side ready for when I do this side. But I do want to shift my stencil design across just a little bit. So taking it off here, so you can see I've got half a coffee sign on here and I'm going to put the other half, but move it across just a little bit. Paula says no boring, but the commercials are pretty good. Yeah, that's the only reason you really watch the Super Bowl, right girls? Anyway, 
<clears throat> so I've moved it across just slightly. We're going to stencil this other bit. Now, as I was saying, these stools came completely black, if you've just joined me since I started. And these were black. Stripped those back to raw wood, just using the sander, and stained it with a little bit of uh, Fusion Mineral Paints top coat, Tough Coat Sealer and added a little bit of brown colouring to give it an aged, antique wood stain look. So I've still got paint on my brush. Let me just see how much I've got there, if I can do some here. I'm trying to do this one-handedly. I'll put my foot on the stool to hold it down. Okay, it's coming, but I still think I need a little bit more. Now, once this stencil has dried, and I would leave it probably a half an hour, I'm gonna see if I need to maybe just give it a really light sand with maybe a 320 grit and give it a more um, distressed look. So again, a little bit on your brush. I've got the rubber band there to tighten my bristles up so that they don't... So you really don't need the fancy pants stencil brushes. You can use your ordinary paint brush. This is a Klingon Round 14, R14. Any of the round brushes, if you've got a huge stencil, use a big round brush. So we're gonna just Add this to here. I'm not going down into those edges, just kind of briefly brushing to the edge but not over it. Oh really, Libby was in the US last year for the Super Bowl, still no idea of the rules of the game. Libby, did you actually attend the game or you were just there in the US while all the craziness was going on? How fun, <laughs> this time of year. I don't even know where the game's being played, but I hope it's not too cold for the people watching. But hey, I think people who go to Super Bowl are just so mad keen fans that they would go in any weather. Paula says, yep, it'd drive her crazy if the stools weren't together. So that's right, you need to keep them together. Imagine breakfast stools at the breakfast bench or at your little coffee bar. So hopefully when I take this off, you'll be able to still see that it said something, but as in, as in sort of an old industrial crate that's been pulled apart to make a stool, it kind of looks like a bit of industrial farmhouse style. So there we go, all finished. I think it's looking fairly even coverage. Put my brush down, rip it off, and there you go. The stencil's done, and it just kind of looks like they're meant to be together. They're twin chairs, but gives it a bit of an industrial look. Hi, Christy from Oklahoma. Thanks so much for watching and joining me. So there's your top uh, stenciling tips for today. I am going live for every day this week, and I'm really trying to think of other things to do but tomorrow let me just show you the project I'll be working on tomorrow over here I'm actually going to be doing something special from Jamie Lundstrom's French vintage decor book I'll put my affiliate link to that in you can get this on Amazon in the comments in just a minute but I'll be looking at see this vintage decor farmhouse looking no antique basket basket she calls it and um, I've gathered all my little materials here. <coughs> Please bring that st stencil with you when you come over here. I will, Paula, bring that one. And so see, you've got just an ordinary cane basket. And tomorrow I'll be doing this live for you to show you how to get from this ordinary look to this gorgeous uh, antique -y kind of look using just a few fusion mineral paints. So, hey, Sharon's from Brizzy, a fellow Brizzy person. Hang on a second flipping you around. So yeah, join me live tomorrow and every day this week, some of the things I'll be doing, hopefully I'm gonna go uh, op shopping on Wednesday, which is usually my day for going and restocking my booth at the Camp Hill Antique Center. So if you didn't know, I've got a booth upstairs at Camp Hill Antiques off Old Cleveland Road uh, in towards Brisbane. And all the Fusion Mineral Paints is stocked there, Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint, Klingon Brushes, all of the products that I sell, plus some of my bespoke furniture, things that I've been painting are also in there. Thanks, Joe. you love the stools, that's great. So I'll be painting those up with the coal black now, and I'll show you the finished result. Hopefully I'll get that 
pictures up this afternoon. I'll pop them here in the comments. If you've got any more questions, please pop them in the comments. I'll go through and read those later and see if there's anything else I can help you with. But there's my top stenciling tips for today. And I'll see you tomorrow, same time, 10 a.m., and we'll be doing the vintage basket. Thanks. Bye.